Alright, looks like it's working. Alright. So. Actually, I've got a reason I want to fish right now. What possible reason could I have to want to fish? You don't find a better deal than in my shop. That's actually damn good. I mean... All of that's pretty good. And I can wield it, but problem here is I'm broke. So do I fish to obtain the money or do I cut my losses and just not go for it? Personally, I'm of the opinion that we should probably fish just a little bit. Because I mean, you never know. It's very possible you could do it. But that's not going to get us anywhere. So, last stream we set a high score. At least for myself. Smoke CS actually told us we could. There are ways to cheat death. I don't think we're gonna make use of it. Just cause. It kinda defeats the spirit. I mean, I might try it off screen and see if it works, but not one stream. Oh man. If only that were something else. Like a flawless one. But last we saw, you know... I think last stream we tried that, and it didn't really get us anywhere. Not like last stream, but like one of the previous attempts. It didn't really work, so... I don't know. Maybe they have to be of like a certain level to really be effective or not. But uh <sighs> I think we're received powerful. the quest. I mean, as long as it ain't a shrine on level five. Hello? You have received the quest. Okay. It's all for a later May level, but... Now, to... Get into the rhythm of things, I'm gonna go back through level one. Jeez, it's the same way. Aren't these layouts supposed to, like, respawn? I mean, the treasure's respawning, sure, but... I mean, the stuff's respawning, but... And treasures are certainly becoming worth more. Also, are they... S oh, they're slightly higher level now. It's like the game... Is the game catching on to my strategy or something? I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Items certainly aren't any better. Trigger the trap. One damage. 
I think we're the overpowered ones here. It's not as good. But if I were to have found them at level 1, they probably would have been useful. You know... That's actually not a bad for... Again, for like a level one, that's... I don't know. I mean, we I guess we could give him... No. That's not very useful for a pet. <laughs> the HP regen would be useful, but I'd be giving up 10 damage. Which, considering he's only doing that much, I mean, he's, slight, he's about two thirds where I am, but. The trap has been he's stolen. already got knockback, and he's already got 20 regen. Taking away 10 damage for one more point of region is not really useful. Now, if it had more pet useful bonuses like damage or, you know, damage reduction, or even attack speed or movement speed, that maybe would be useful, but magic related stats are horrible. You want to keep those kind of benefits to a minimum with your pet. Unless it's a pet that has access to certain minions. In which case... The spell could not be completed. Maybe. But you'd have to really be... You have sprung the trap. I know there's a couple of pets that have some that's available. Or maybe it's just one. It's been a while since I've really done this kind of stuff in depth. And even then, can you call, you know, a teenager, like, literally, like, 13 or so? Knowing a game, what they consider the game in depth when they... When they think they understand how things are, but... Really, that in depth? I don't know. I'm just gonna say, you know, back when I fought, I really knew this game in and out. There's always something else to find. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, it was either like Brain Beast or Abomination. One of the high, more highly intelligent pets got access to summons. In that case, maybe some magic stats would be useful, but you would want to keep them to a minimum. Shit, that ain't a bad club. For, you know, I would have used that at Your level one. Departed. Because, I mean, when you're level one and struggling, you kind of take anything the game gives you. Your pet has returned. Even if it ain't the greatest. And yeah, Twitch Studio was being kind of crap, and I lost the original layout, so... Had him build a new one. Which, I mean, I guess a change of look ain't ever bad. It's still kind of like, aww. I kind of liked something with that old one. Just take it. I don't want Well, actually, I don't know. 
Might have to try and find that Discord Smoke was talking about. Maybe they know the secrets of the cards. I sure as hell don't. Why is a rat got a spear? I don't know. At least it ain't the mythical cheese hat. Okay, that wasn't even that funny. Also, I think we found this early in the beginning of this run. I'm still using it. I think either if this run goes out or it's about one o'clock we're gonna do something a little bit different something that I've not actually done yet or at least haven't done in a long time and not on YouTube not on stream purely original Because I was playing Sonic CD last night, right? Or I guess you could say early yesterday morning, or I guess you could say yesterday overnight. I, I don't know. Days kind of blend together. And I was doing time attack. And I found that somehow, without even trying, I was, I was playing Palm Tree Panic Zoom 2 and found that, you know, I got like a s score of uh, 26 seconds and 60 seconds seconds or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, you know, that seems really fa I, you know, that seemed like fast, but not like godly fast. I knew I would made mistakes and whatnot. And I'm not really a huge speedrunner type guy. Like, I like watching, but I don't really care for, you know, I like to sit back, relax, enjoy my games a little bit. And, has been sprung. Well, CD, you kind of have to do the time attack mode to unlock the secret stuff. Like, you know, sound tests and what have you. So, you you know, you don't have to be, like, perfection to actually unlock everything. I think it'd be kind of ridiculous to ask someone to unlock the bonus content. Unless it was, like, Luigi-esque stuff. Like... <laughs> I guess we want to go there. And... Turns out, that's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> I, I didn't even I didn't even think, but it was pretty damn good. Like, you go on the Steam leaderboards, and... Even with all the fake scores and what have you. The wannabe Rod Todgers and... Billy Bitchell and all that. You know, you, you go on like speedrun.com, that's like number 10 in the world right there. It's just like, damn. That ain't too bad. I mean, I wasn't consciously trying to do it. Am I going to try and go for the mythical 16 second run? Uh, no, but the re I might stream some attempts, like speedrun attempts. Not, not so much for the sake of speedrunning the game and and all that. I mean, I'll leave that to the professionals, but to kind of get a handle on not looking like an idiot playing the game. That makes any sense. You know, competent enough for a let's play on YouTube without 
Yeah, it's like you know what you're doing, but not... You know, run around and getting hit every five seconds and... Bouncing around like a fool. I don't know. I mean, I got, I got to do the time attack anyway, so it's a great way to practice my individual levels. And if I do enough of it tonight, then I can even go as far as, you know, practicing the special stages, which I'll freely admit are like. The hardest. I've always had the most trouble with CD's special stages. One, you just gotta memorize the maze. If you can do that, you're fine. Two, memorize the rings and the bombs, you'll be fine. I've never really had that much trouble. Three, and, and Knuckles, because they're basically the same game. Three and Knuckles. As in the name. Memorize the layouts and memorize is not possible. and the puzzles and again you ought to be golden. But then you got C D where it's you gotta deal with the RNG of the Your UFOs. You gotta memorize the layout and you gotta do it fast as shit. You know bleh, ain't as good. You probably won't figure out even the first. You might get lucky with the first one, but seventh one kicked my not not even the seventh one kicked my ass that much. But number six. And keep in mind, you only get but so many attempts if you don't save scum in the remake. So it's just like. Hmm. Also, actually, now that I think about it, how did the C I've never actually played it on the, C on the Sega CD. I've only I had the Gems Collection, and I had... Well, I have the scene release, as you'll see later. If I do that tonight. I, I, I want to, but at the same time, it's like... The thing is, people come and actually start watching me do that. It's like... Do I want people to think this is supposed to be some kind of like speedrun channel? It's not. I really don't want it to be feel like that. I'm here to have a fun time, and if, that's kind of the most important bit, you know? Also, the worst gem right here. Actually, that might not be true, but undead is very situational. How many undead have we run into yet? One skeleton on this floor. Unlike every other elemental we have gained in experience and skill. Unlike every other elemental weakness. Or resistance. If they're not they're if they're neither weak or strong against it, it'll still do its damage. If they're weak, it'll do even more. And if they're resistant to it, then yeah, it'll do less damage. But it, you know, unless they have a perfect immunity to it, it will still always do some damage on top. And if they're weak, then well, aren't you lucky? Not really. Just know you're. Monsters' innate strengths and weaknesses in them. That's why a bow like this that has two elements is a lot more powerful than its default version. Because it's doing 12 extra damage just for pure elements. And it's considered magical damage, so I don't think... Magical effects will not negate it unless it's, you know, a resistance. Whereas, say, like, you had crushing resist. Any crushing weapon will have its damage rates. And so on and so forth for every type. The only type that does not... 
I guess you could say have a weakness or strength is cheese. But cheese is... I don't know. I've never encountered the cheese equipment. But it's... As far as I'm aware... Steam exclusive endgame or something? Kind of a strange case, I guess you could say. Like the skeleton. It's still weak to my elements, despite it being strong against my actual piercing damage itself. Well. Alright. HP or damage. Well, strength's useful. Alright, there's gonna come a point where upgrading critical is just not gonna be worth it anymore. Same thing for spellcasting. You get diminishing returns on those skills. Whereas, you know, say, upgrading your bow, you will always do that much more. It's a flat point per level. Or bow, a flat point plus a point of attack. Another one of them. If I find another one, do I win a prize? I probably don't. I just get some money. I mean, they're not even hardly hitting. They're hitting my pet. But not me. Another fun kind of run I do on Fate is where I just sell all my equipment between runs and have to start from scratch each time. It means you can't get too comfortable with anything. Although, to be fair, I guess... I mean, I, I do keep green and gold, but... Uh, to be fair, I guess... Like, I wouldn't keep my boots, or I wouldn't keep my pendants here. But everything else I'd keep. I think I'd be this tired after drinking coffee and waking up at 11 o'clock. I don't know, man. Alright, it's down here. A trap has been sprung. Just some gold, it looks like. Yep, just a few cold, gold, cold coins in my trouble. spawn again or is that just I suppose we'll find out no nope, loot didn't respawn not seeing any monsters either All those are hardly worth anything. I'd get more gold lying on the ground. It isn't until like the later floors that that really becomes worth anything. But at that point, the things you're buying aren't really hardly worth anything either, so... I suppose you could say it balances itself out. You enter the portal. 
You enter the portal. Didn't mean to do that. All right, what are my quests? Look at them. Level five. So I just gotta find a quest, huh? Gotta find an item and not die. Ooh, magic elementals. These guys are gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, but you know how to stop them? That's right, poison. Are they taking damage from it? Your pet has fled. Oh god. Your pet is fleeing. Your pet is fleeing. Get out of there. I guess drawing shit is that much easier. <laughs> have health than me now. Oh boy. Four or five is gonna be more difficult than I expect. Also he's lost his meat shield status. Gen is counteracting the poison ever so slightly, I guess. <sighs> well, he 
he's not doing any damage. This glitch. Better vampire than you ever were. I don't even have to be up close in person. You have sprung the trap. Well, there's the item. Your pet is fleeing. Do I have any coffee? No. Your pet has fled. Just summon a bunch of frost beetles. You have completed. All right, this. they're probably no good. Are you? <laughs> Two can play that game. Oh, another one. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically. <laughs> Your pet has returned. Uh, mine aren't as strong as the ones that can come naturally. Well, it's a cracked one. That's not the same. You have triggered a trap.
You know, this floor wasn't as bad as the beginning made it out to be. But maybe that's the Frost Beetle speaking. In any case, they are stronger than me. And I can summon six of them. At a time. Oh god, a unicorn? Oh man. XP. That I am definitely getting. All right. Well, it doesn't hurt. Wasn't expecting to be that effect. found our fishing hole. Oh god. I found what killed us last time. Will you attempt fate? Well, didn't kill me this time. Still pretty, uh... You have triggered a trap. Still particularly unhelpful, though. Again, you never know. I can... Uh, uh, another one! Fate really wants me to die today, doesn't he? He's mad at me for mocking this dungeon. Will you attempt fate? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Actually, how bad is he? Oh, it's a vampire. How bad could this possibly be? Clearly not getting anywhere. Fast enough. Bye. that item it's kind of sh uh, I wouldn't say shit but definitely not use good material you were poisoned We're also getting money, so that's also good. Oh god. Maybe 
Maybe I should up the poison on him. A free damage second might just be better. new skills well that certainly works Fish over the ogre's dead, well, Yeti's dead corpse. What, he doesn't make good bait? There we go. trying to catch fish unless it's flawless and actually a decent flawless. The real question is, being a level 4, will I get any better fishing? Yeah, I can't really afford to get rid of that much health. Wyvern wouldn't be bad, but
Oh, what's this? Pretty sure that was worth, what, a quarter million? Or 200,000? skill I do it's not very powerful though as far as I know I mean I guess it is a bunch of life steal though Bo has light, I mean, some light steel, but. <laughs> Imagine if I found the second one. That'd be certainly something. Alright. If I had caught a second one of those in a row, I would have gone crazy. I'll definitely sell that because it's nowhere near as good. use that or I will be very disappointed in myself. I guess this fishing hole's about had it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that. It's fairly underwhelming. I was hoping it'd be... Uh, I guess anything could be a scythe, huh? Stand a chance that did the heat. Hmm. Well, that's about three times our old high score. But how high will it go? How brain beast. 
floating mines, I don't think it's gonna rapidly jump. Gotta find all of them or something. items like go. Uh... I mean, that ain't bad. The improbably named. No resistance to the bow, but... Everything in my seven ice or six, I think it's six. Sprung. Alright. You are poisoned. Also, look how mean this poison is. You get two minutes of this. If you ain't got a healing spell, you're, you're, you're gonna die. With all the extra health from the chance. And some health regen stopping it. Oh. 
Actually, hold on. No antidotes. Centipede's even worse. We finally got chaos. has departed. You have completed the quest. Just one left.
could be anywhere. The quest is completed. There we go. Now we just gotta find the next four. Pet has departed. You enter the portal. Your pet has returned. That's still almost no fame. But I will f gain more you fame. Have gained fame. I only got gold from that run though. May the light shine upon you. Yeah, that's the big money one. Good, but it does feel like we need to get something new. Yeah. Mm. That's probably not a good thing to get rid of right now. Everything here is a bargain. 
You mark my words. Basically all around better. Except damage taken reduced, but... Staff went. That's not a ton of speed. Um, a staff wouldn't actually be bad to invest in either. Actually, do you sell any? That's not useful. Hmm. Oh, I know. I know who might, who might sell something worthwhile. <laughs> Really, you aren't buying a mace for attacks, though. Just because that'll bring us back to spell, you know, the fervor or magic power. Surprisingly, <laughs> do you have frost? <laughs> Holy shit. I can use that? You have learned the new spell. I mean, seriously. Level 45. For five minutes. So. I mean, what kind of class am I even using? <laughs> oh, I can't use that yet. But that's the next natural staff to go to. Alright. Still no... Oh, there's some perfects. Yeah, perfect gems are even higher grade than... Well, regulars, but... 
You won't find them often. If I found perfect gems, you know, for like these, I would upgrade. Them. Just because that means what? 24 for me, I think? Oh, I need to be on the lookout for the superior emerald, too. <laughs> I mean, that would be a better spell. You have learned a new spell. Alright, what about gambling? Hi there! That's not gambling, that's just cards. <laughs> Um, <sighs> holy fuck, man. Holy fuck. I mean, that's And that's actually not a bad pet new ring to give him a pet either. I mean I mean sure his damage went down, but he'll hit more often. Actually I am gonna compare the attack Alright, I do have a higher chance of hitting with this ring, but... But I get more defense with this ring. So, in a way, and I do get more damage, so it balances out, in a way. So, give my pet this will make him slightly better. He won't deal as much, but he will. He will be valuable enough. Alright. Last thing I'm going to try and gamble for is maybe a better pair of boots. Or. or it's like our right hat, but I feel like we can do better. <sighs> well, I'm not losing health, but I do lose magic. And I get health regen. Jeez. Look, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay, the only downside <laughs> is that it costs magic. A ton of magic. Not enough. I can't no. summon a ton of them. But. <laughs> They last so long. They have insane resistance. <laughs> and they're level 56. <laughs> they're almost four times the level of me. You have received a test. We'll take that level 7 quest. We'll take that level 7 quest. Just because. I must ask you something. You have received a quest. Welcome. You know you what? Have received sure. A quest. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this see if I actually do something while I'm cocky. You step into the portal. I'm getting a little cocky about this, but finally our first one of these. 
deal with it. Also, I think these summons can summon their own summons. They can summon their own summons. Mind you, I saw the bees with my bow. I saw the bees with my bow. You have completed the quest. <sighs> Level 60 with these. With this. I just became a summoner. You feel healthy. Also. Yes. Yes, I will. Fate has favored you. Alright, in all seriousness. Okay, I don't need... I no longer need these. I no longer need those. I can I can identify up to a level 101. I'm a summoner now. Effective they'll be in wilds beyond me. You look like you know a bargain when you see one. Experience and skill. Dangerously low. You have fallen. I got cocky.
choose your fate. Oh, boy. I got cocky. Only way to explain that one. The choice is made. Well. Well, that's... What? Hmm. Come on. What the hell's going on? All right. Well, our high score is Well, we'll see. Anyway, guess that'll be it for this one. I was going to do some Sonic CD tonight, but maybe I'll do it tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow, or this afternoon, or something. Don't know yet.